The day we're taking a look at these NBA matches, which are happening on Friday, January 21, 2022, and giving you match breakdowns, betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions, then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. 5 plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 500 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting picks that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the high stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks. Chicago Bulls vs Milwaukee Bucks. The Chicago Bulls have been at or near the top of the Eastern Conference standings all season long. At 28-15, they currently lead the conference, percentage points ahead of Miami and a half game up on the Nets. But that lead has shrunk in recent weeks, as the Bulls have lost four of their last five games. They snapped a four-game losing streak on Wednesday, beating the Cavaliers 117-104 as 3.5-point underdogs. It was a much-needed win against a good team. Jump on this line early while it stays under 10. I think this line will move closer to 10 points by game time due to the Bulls' depleted backcourt. With Ball and Levine healthy, the Bulls' guards can defend both the interior and exterior. Without them, the Bulls get much smaller unless Caruso is out there. Caruso will play in this game, but he's doubtful to give the Bulls anywhere close to 30 minutes so soon after returning from an ankle injury. While the Bucks remain without Lopez, Antetokounmpo is more than capable of protecting the rim and defending Busevic in the post. Milwaukee can also spread the floor like few teams with a slew of 3 PT shooters, which will tax the Bulls' smaller guard's ability to get out on shooters. Our first betting pick will be Milwaukee minus 8.5. The Milwaukee Bucks will not be sending any sympathy cards to the Bulls for their recent rash of injuries. The defending champions have gone through a number of injuries and COVID-19 related absences over the first three months of the season and are finally starting to get healthy. The Bucks took advantage of a depleted Grizzlies roster to upend Memphis 126-114 on Wednesday night at home. Giannis Antetokounmpo had 33 points and 15 rebounds, and Chris Middleton scored 27 to lead the Bucks past Memphis, who had won 12 of 13 games coming in. Memphis played the game without two of its leading scorers, Dylan Brooks and Desmond Bain, who were out with an ankle and COVID-19 issues respectively. The game came down to one simple reality. The Grizzlies could not stop Antetokounmpo. The former MVP scored six straight points down the stretch to put Memphis away. Our second betting pick will be under 228. Quick reminder, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions, then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. Five plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 500 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting picks that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the high stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks. The Brooklyn Nets have been without Kevin Durant for two games as he is out weeks with an injury and they are 1-1 without him. The Nets narrowly edged out Washington on Wednesday as at halftime they were up 74-62 and were outscored by 10 in the fourth. In that game, they were led by Kyrie Irving, who had 30 points and 7 assists, while LaMarcus Aldridge had 27 points and 6 rebounds. Three others, James Harden, Patty Mills, and Daron Sharp, also had double-digit points. If this was a solo James Harden act, the Spurs might be a fun underdog play in this matchup. But Kyrie Irving being on the floor changes everything. He has crossed up more ankles than big bowler brand shoes, and his presence on the floor adds another elite scoring option next to Harden, while Kevin Durant sits out with a sprained MCL. There are always question marks that come with the Spurs. Can guys get off and hit their shots consistently? Will the defense hold up? Sure, the Nets have looked like a mess defensively at times this season, but you know what you're going to get with Irving and Harden on the floor together. They're going to get their shots, whether that's actually knocking down shots or attacking the rim, drawing fouls and hitting free throws. The offensive talent between the big two will elevate everyone else on the roster. Our first betting pick will be Brooklyn Nets minus 2.5. The Nets might need another night of Irving or James Harden wearing the red cape in Friday's interconference rematch with a Spurs team that gave them all they could handle in the last meeting. San Antonio is a top 10 scoring offense with a team netting 114.3 points per game on average when playing at home. It's also a team that's playing with a healthy roster, unlike the Nets, who are down Durant and possibly even Nick Claxton. Joe Harris is on his way back to the lineup, but his return isn't expected until the team wraps up their current road trip. 
Brooklyn's defense is slipping, and not having Durant and potentially even Claxton on the floor would help matters. But there isn't a more prolific guard tandem than Irving and Harden. Their talent alone defies the logic for balance on a basketball team. When you can score like those two men, sometimes defense is irrelevant. Our second betting pick will be under 235.5. Detroit Pistons vs Utah Jazz. The Pistons have not enjoyed a very good season so far. Not at all, in fact. They are currently 11-33 for the season, which means they win one in every four games. They did, however, beat the Sacramento Kings 133-131 in their previous game. The Jazz have suddenly hit a poor patch of form that has seen them lose six of their last seven games, which has seen them drop down to 29-16 for the season. In their previous game, they were beaten 116-111 by the Houston Rockets. Utah is struggling at the moment, and even though I think they will beat Detroit on Friday, I seriously doubt the Jazz will cover. The visitors will play without any pressure here, unlike the hosts, who have an imperative to win. Detroit already defeated Utah this season, and it was 10 days ago, so I am backing the Pistons to cover and stay closer to the Jazz than people expect. The Pistons have a new dimension with Kelly Olenek back to the lineup, and it looks they are more dangerous now, despite missing Jeremy Grant. Our first betting pick will be the Pistons at plus 15.5. The Utah Jazz did play without Donovan Mitchell, but nobody expected them to lose to the Houston Rockets at home. However, Utah's poor form continued as they lost six of the last seven games, this time around, Houston won 116-111. The Jazz didn't cover a minus 14 spread, and it was the sixth time in seven games they couldn't cover. Utah now has a 20-25 Austrian shillings record. The hosts allowed even 22 triples and scored only 10 in return, which was the biggest difference in this game. The Detroit Pistons displayed their best defensive performance of the campaign, as they scored season-high 133 points in a 133-131 road victory over the Sacramento Kings. Detroit covered a plus 7.5 spread, which is the first time in three games they managed to cover. The Pistons now improved to a 21-23 Austrian shillings record. Both teams shot over 50.0% from the field, but the Pistons made 15 threes opposite Sacramento's 12. Corey Joseph, a former king, made a shot with less than 30 seconds to go to give the Pistons the win. Our second betting pick will be under 218. Disclaimer, no financial advice, the information on this channel is provided for education and informational purposes only, without any express or implied warranty of any kind, including warranties of accuracy, completeness, or fitness for any particular purpose. The information contained in or provided from or through this channel is not intended to be and does not constitute financial advice, investment advice, trading advice or any other advice. The information on this channel and provided from or through this channel is general in nature and is not specific to you the user or anyone else. You should not make any decision, financial, investment, trading or otherwise, based on any of the information presented on this channel without undertaking independent due diligence and consultation with a professional broker or financial advisory.